Sisters and brothers of the ILA, I am disgusted to hear the comment South Carolina Governor Henry McMasters made in his state of the state address in late January, attacking labor union and ILA in particular. Who the hell does he think he is? He is a disgrace to be representing the citizens of South Carolina, especially my members from the ILA living and working there. His attacks on the ILA will not be ignored. ILA members in the Port of Charleston are among the best compensated workers in the state of South Carolina. And that burns the hell out of the governor. He sits in his all-white private country club, surrounded by his cronies, saying he'll go to the gates of hell to keep unions out. Well, let me tell you, he's going to go to hell. That's where he's heading. Does he realize what he's saying? Does he realize that he says he hates unions? Well, I can bet you the clothes that he wears on his back and the furniture in his house and the car he drives is all done by union labor. Absolutely. In the Port of Charleston, everything comes off a ship and keeps that state running, especially during the pandemic when everybody stood home and worked from their home. Not my longshoremen. They went to work every single day and broke their backs to keep that state, South Carolina, alive and moving. I welcome all the unions in the United States to go into South Carolina, start organizing, organize the warehouses, organize the trucking, organize the companies that are not organized. Let's teach him a lesson. Does he realize that this world, this United States, the unions is what made it? The cities in New York, Detroit, Chicago were all built by union construction workers. There's something wrong with this man. How the hell did he ever become governor? I don't know. He's a leftover from the 30s and 40s. Guarantee he's got a hood in the closet. He sounds like it. It's a shame that he's a governor of this state. He's a white supremacist. He doesn't realize that God made all men and women equal. He doesn't realize that. The ILA's never back down from a fight. And we are ready to take this governor on. The ILA is a target of McMaster's anger because the ILA and his local unions have a long and proud history of fighting for labor rights and the civil rights in South Carolina. The ILA has earned respect of the Charleston community. From its earliest days, the mostly Black Longshoremen's Union local in Charleston, ILA Local 1422, has enjoyed the relationship with local politics, business, and community leaders. Governor McMaster's, your ugly words and the threats have inspired the ILA. You will feel our power and the power of the worldwide labor solidarity. We will expose you for what you are, anti-worker and anti-union. We'll send a wave of protest marches from Charleston to the State House. Governor McMasters, you are nothing but a redneck. You heard me, a redneck. I don't even know how you became a governor. You don't belong in today's world. You would never make it in my neighborhood, Queens, Woodside. They would eat you up in 10 minutes, the way you speak. You should be a disgrace to everything that you stand for. I am furious at you, the way you talk about my union and other unions. Take a good look around this world. On the ships, it's all union. The people that drive those ships, the people that unload those ships, the people that drive the containers, the Teamster Union, the construction workers that build these cities, you, you brag about you only got 2% union in your state. That's a disgrace to you because you don't want to pay people a fair wage. 
You want to make all the money for yourself. That's what's wrong. And when somebody does something wrong, you want to fire them. Because you don't want a unionaire who protects the working men of this world and the women of this world. You belong in a different generation. This is today's world. And like I said before, God made everybody equal, men and women. You don't accept that. I'd love to talk to you personally, face to face. You should be praising the hardworking ILA Longshore workforce at the Port of Charleston for their contribution to the South Carolina economy. We will make sure the country and the world knows that the ILA will always fight for its members and for their jobs.